I'm a road cyclist and I have no idea how I build this mountain bike. Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, it's surgery time. Finally build my brand new fat bike. I got behind me this Garno. And we need to strip all the parts from this bike and put it on a brand new double suspension carbon fat bike. The pan don't stop, shit ain't gonna feed you. I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? Baby girl, love my bike. Oh, and one sec, before starting the surgery actually, I have to tell you guys, why am I building a fat bike? And the thing is, here in Quebec, we have about four months long of winter where we cannot ride gravel bike or a road bike outside. And doing indoor training on Zwift can be quite difficult for long rides, especially zone two rides when it's not a race. So having a fat bike will just let me ride all year long. We'll just make it a lot more fun. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna strip everything on this bike, and then I'll figure it out. Put it on, baby. You do not phase me, boy. I do not give a fuck what you did. Eating that kitty, she stuck to my rear. How can I trust me? Fuck with the piece. Man, that bottom bracket was not tight at all. Could start to unscrew it, my man. Sweat suit, all heel figures, and I ain't even got a deal with you. If I ain't never split a bill with you, I got Hennessy and Hort Chata. Baby girl wearing Nada. Ass growing from a cider. Bad robe in his Prada. Fiji water by the cold glass. Granddaddy by the zip lock. Flex seat. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep this as is, and I'm gonna try put that straight onto the other bike. Alright, so now I'm stuck with this frame. Someone in Montreal wants it and wants to build it. Hit me up. Is is that lighter than the carbon one? 2.7? Alright now, what step? What's the first step? I don't know. I have no idea what I should do first. But man, that, that frame is looking very good, huh? Yeah, it's looking great. Me, they be all on my wood tip, not a stain on my white tee. I'm popping all of this good shit. Big flex, my swole, double cup, and I'm yes. pulled up. Let's Niggas go. hating like hole up. What's the problem? I'm pulled up. Big flex, my swole up. Hard body, they fold up. Shorty say I done glowed up. Oh, shit. What a cat. That was scary. No roof on my top, and my babe see through. It's getting there. It's moving in. It's moving forward. River shock? That's gonna be scary. I've never done that before. I have no idea how to install this. Whoa. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, hey. Um, too cool for the rules, baby. Get off of me. Never need no push. I freaking hate this. Me. Oh, uh, I feel like doing something wrong. Call for me. Money move it, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby. Don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters. Got them all. All right, so again, I'm gonna give a little shout out here to Pacific Northwest for hooking up this. Pretty sweet dropper, even though I hate <laughs> setting this up. I'm sure it will be very nice once it's functional. But it's really more like Nasdaq. Why they thinking that they hot shit when they really more like ass crack? Quota on me like a referee. Niggas hating what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah, shorty shape like a letter D. Will dropper post work? Let's test it out. really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lame. Whether you a broke ass, low class, no cash, certified lame, nigga. I'm getting to it like I ought to. Couldn't pick, so I bought two. Understand why your chick came. I'm just trying to figure. Ah, oh fucking hell. Ah. Just roll on my feet. Sleep on a the nigga, they rest up, but I'm up and I'm getting my chest up. Me and the fellas be hot. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it so far. And then a few more adjustments here and there. So yeah, let's go see what this bike looks like. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Alright guys, so this is my final build, my first ever fat bike. And I'm very excited to take this onto the trails this winter. It's just something weird I need to address right away is yes, yes, I know. I have a rigid front fork and I have a rear shock. I know this is not something you're supposed to do, 
but this is the fork of the Garno and I will eventually upgrade this one for a full suspension. Just bear in mind here with me, I'm trying to build this on a budget. It's gonna get there. But as of right now, this really budget rear shot works just fine. It's from Amazon. So again, what is this frame? So this frame is the SN2 from Iken. Kinda expensive, but kinda on the affordable side for a double suspension fat bike. I love the color. I feel it looks great with the snow. Building this bike was all right, it was not too difficult to be honest. Um, the internal routing was already done. All I had to do was just pass the cable through, put everything together. It went great, it went really great. So now what about the components? So this is a Shimano Deor. Uh, this is like, I guess the equivalent of 105. So it's all right. It's, uh, how many speeds it is? One, two, three, four. It's 10 speeds, which is just fine with me. So these tires are the Jumbo Gym uh, from Schwalbe. These are entry level tires. I will eventually upgrade those for maybe some proper tires with uh, studded because I've heard it makes a whole difference to have the studs. So I will go with that. Pedal wise, these are the Look Trekking Giro. What I love about those are they are double sided, which one side is flat, the other side is SPD, which is be very great for me with my SPD boots. But also for everyone uh, who wants to use my bike, um, they'll have the flat pedals on top of them. Um, pretty stoked I have hydraulic disc brake um, cable actuated disc brake are pretty bad to be honest so this will be very nice a lot of braking power with little activation here of the levers Pacific Northwest for this dropper pose unfortunately this frame is pretty high and my size will not be at the top so so I'm not too sure how I will be using it because I mean the dropper pose your height needs to be at the max of it, but me, it's about like halfway through it. I, I don't know if I'm gonna use it that much. Maybe I'm gonna put that onto another bike because yeah, the size is just too big for me and I cannot use it when it's fully out. Something else I love about this budget rear shot is I can actually lock it. So here, uh, with just a little push of a button here, I can either lock or loosen it, the suspension. So, here. so I can fully lock the suspension. So which is great for like climbing up, but if I want that rear suspension, I just press that red button there and boom. Now I have some wiggle room here. All right guys, so this is it for my build of this Icon bike. I'm very excited to bring this on the trails in the upcoming weeks. So if you want to stay tuned to that, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this deal, if it was entertaining, if you uh, learned a few things or two, definitely consider hitting that thumbs up button. It's always really appreciated. It helps me to build this YouTube channel. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. My name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.